Welcome to Tobar's Realm. Today, I just wanted to talk about a condition I have that maybe some of you out there have and are just now first experiencing, and that condition is called Dupuytren's Contracture, which I'm not going to go into a lot of detail of what it actually is. You can look it up and find out a lot more than I could tell you, but essentially you get lumps along the tendons and and uh, muscles along the palm of your hand leading up to your fingers and the first time I noticed something going on with that was probably about 12 years ago or so 10 or 12 years ago and I started to get uh, just bumps along what I thought was the tendon of my finger just running up you can kind of see it on this finger there's a, some hard bumps right here this finger's getting it. My pinky finger on this side had it. My thumb. I'm getting a, a newer one right here. It's just, you can kind of see that bump right there. But at the time, I didn't really know what, what it was. I thought it was just a reaction to a life of manual labor and working with my hands a lot and hammers and stuff like that thought it was just doing damage to my tendons over time and the my right pinky was slowly getting closer and closer being pulled in more into my palm where I couldn't straighten it um, I'll insert a picture of what that looks like here but it got to the point where I couldn't put my hand in my pocket without my pinky getting caught um, that's starting to happen to this one it's this one's been getting worse over the past year or so um, what finally led me to do something about it was I was I remember meeting somebody and shaking their hand and this pinky got pulled in when I grasped their hand and it was like okay I need to do something about this so I made an appointment with uh, an orthopedic doctor and um, formally diagnosed it with, with dopey trends and um, ended up scheduling a surgery. You can see the scar I have along right here. That was about just not quite five years ago now. It was uh, like January of 2018 when I had that surgery done. And it's made a pretty big difference. Like I can, it's not quite all the way straight, but it's better than it was for sure. And um, then, mm, I guess... In about 2019 or so, a little less than two years later, I started getting a lump on the side of my thumb right here. And I was also getting one in the uh, arch of my foot, my uh, left foot, right along, like the tendon that would connect your big toe to your heel, that one running, you know, along the arch of your foot. So I ended up getting a, I did my foot first because I didn't want to do it in the winter time and deal with crutches and all that. And then I ended up getting this hand operated on too. This scar is not as visible. You can kind of see it right there. They cut it in a zigzag shape so that the scar can has room to stretch after it heals. You can really see it on this one. The one on my foot, I'll insert a picture too. And but now this one's getting significantly worse. You can see if I keep it even with the back side of my fingers, that it is. I 
guess probably what about 45 degrees and uh, they're not painful necessarily they can be painful when you're like grabbing something a handle or whatever but generally speaking they're not painful you can see that that's like a hard lump right along there I have an appointment in January to go get this one checked out. I'm assuming I will probably be getting surgery on this one too. But this isn't meant to be medical advice for anybody. I just wanted to share what my experience has been. Um, it's more of a pain in the butt than anything else. Just getting it caught on your pocket of your pants or if you're like you can't put your hand flat. I've seen commercials on TV where you can kind of diagnose yourself where if you can't put your hand completely flat that that's a good chance that that's what that is this one you can see the pinky's not great but definitely better than it was so if anyone has that issue I would suggest contacting your doctor and see what you can do I know there are some uh, non-surgical ways of dealing with it in my case none of those were applicable but maybe it is for you but i encourage you to go and check it out and get it dealt with because it's the recovery is not as bad as i would have expected with a with a incision that size but i don't know 